What's going on guys, Josh here back again today and we got no face cam which means it's a tip video. We're going to be going over the most important and how to set up your settings to play Madden and the fastest way to do set little challenges. So if this sounds good to you, be sure to stick around. Alright, first off, you're going to want to go into Madden Ultimate Team to set up your settings from here. If you don't do it from here, you can't do it from the main menu. For some reason, this is just a Madden Ultimate Team setting. So make sure you go to Ultimate Team, go to Settings, and then you'll see where it says a mutt. You said Default Star Difficulty. This is going to put your solo challenges. You're not going to have to reset your solo challenges to the most difficult setting. This is automatically going to put it on the most difficult, which is what you want to do most of the times because the more stars you get the easier it is to get rewards the solo challenges are a little bit more difficult with the more stars um but usually those are just challenges uh and not really difficulty this year so you always want to have this on and you have to go into the settings and turn this on this is off by default you want to make sure that this is on quick presentation and not exposition this is going to load up your solo challenges way faster put it on accelerator clock and put it to 10 seconds that way you're able to run out the clock much easier doing these four settings alone is going to make you way more coins and allow you to get through way more solo challenges much 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 quicker this next tip is more of a pro tip um and this is really being used that i've been using it to really grind my mutt level as you can see i'm already at level 31 and i've been doing that from just playing the game i have played the game a ton for you guys but also just doing this solo challenge that helps you grind up really fast. It helps you rank up really fast. It's in the EA Play, the EA Access version of the solo se challenge sequence. And you just want to pass for 10 yards. Now what you do is you play this solo. I'm going to just show you. I'm not going to cut anything. You're just going to go load it to the solo. You're going to play it really, really quickly. You're going to beat it. And then you just keep replaying it over and over to rank up. But there's a secret tip that helps you load up even faster to save even more time and i'll show you that as soon as we get into this game hopefully on next gen the mutt like loading screens and stuff like that are much shorter but it is what it is what can you do right now so i'm gonna run this play go ahead and get 10 yards boom okay great make sure we fall down then i'm gonna immediately press the hurry up button it's going to complete the challenge really quick and then going to replay challenge. You'll see when I load up into the challenge, I'm already lined up because it no huddles automatically. This is going to save you so much time, especially when you're ranking up, when the new uh, series go comes out from Madden and you have to re-rank up all over again. There'll be another solo challenge that comes out and I'll be doing the same method and saving so much time. As you can see, it's probably been less than a minute and I've filled into this challenge three times already. So you just want to complete the challenge, hurry up, click replay, play a game, and then when you come back, you're already ready up and you can huddle. You don't even have to huddle. You just hike it and go. Boom, 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 boom. If you guys enjoyed that tip and then know about it, be sure to just go ahead and leave a like on this video because that's when I found that out, I was like, oh my God, this is a game changer. Now to set the rest of your settings, there's not really that much left to set up. You want to go to the main screen and go down to settings settings again game options none of this stuff really affects your mutt um except you want to have nfl live playbooks turned on your skill level and game style don't really affect um your online modes this is how it's going to be automatically set by default if you're playing in maybe practice mode or playing head-to-head -head versus a friend like at your house not online all madden and competitive is what they have set for weekend league and this is more geared towards a competitive uh settings uh style video so that's what i'm gonna have set i want to be used to that when i do play weekend league which you guys can check out when i stream which will be linked in the description minimum play got 10 seconds we went over that coin toss actually very important i like to receive the ball in the second half so i always choose to kick and then if I don't win the toss and I do have to receive, I want to be going against the win. That way, when the when it becomes halftime and we flip, I have the win uh, to my back and I'm kicking with the win when the game is on the line in the fourth quarter. So you want to have kicking against the win. You can really have it whatever you want, but these are what I would professionally. Um, I personally would recommend you set these defensive. Um, I like to have set auto flip on it's kind of been glitching this year already so you might want to set that off until they fix it but usually this works every year um, and I'm sure they'll put out a patch for it defensive ball hawk on defensive heat secret assist I like to turn off 
switch assist i also have to learn off and coach mode off and then player sliders none of these really matter unless you're doing like a cfm uh franchise type of thing all this stuff really doesn't matter unless you really are colorblind there's no special settings that help for anyone else um you can enlarge the on-field graphics this will basically if you're throwing to like a or y or x or b uh this will enlarge the on-field stuff i heard had it on for a little bit but it's a little bit too large so i really don't need it subtitles i have on for face of the franchise brightness and stuff really doesn't matter unless you want to get the right color correction master volume and i turn my music off this really doesn't affect anything gameplay wise this i just have to have this off because i make youtube videos and i don't want to get copyright strikes on my channel penalties player skill none of this really matters again unless you're doing cfm this does not affect your mutt stuff cpu stuff does not affect your mutt stuff visual feedback this is important and will kind of basically just help you speed up play uh when you call your plays i have dynamic play call off this will kind of like tell you what to play based off your skill level and i really don't need that so i have that off i have play style uh play call style enhance this is that right bar on the side it's either like slim or enhanced i like to have it enhanced my play ball play call button loadout is totally up to you i've been using the same layout for a few years so i'm used to it i know that um my x button is going to be at the bottom play my triangle is going to be my top play and i like to have previous play on if i'm playing online just to see if i'm getting spanned by something i want to know what it is to see what i can so i can look at the play and see what is being run and i can potentially stop it and also i could potentially copy if i want to as well drive goals and xp i like to have that actually on um it's good for mutt all this stuff i really have off except for on field visual feedback this will basically this will be you know if you throw an interact inaccurate pass or you have a rush throw it'll tell you at the bottom coaching tips i have off pre-snap menu i have on and then player names i have for pre-snap only once i know i know camera toggle i have to have on this will basically allow you to choose different cameras while in game i'm usually always on standard but i will go to something like wide or all 22 if i am doing like a punt or a kick it lets me get more uh fov so field of vision uh or field of view to see where i'm going to place that punt or see where i'm going to bring my player and we're back in the menu narration let's get out of there and that's it that's basically all the settings that you need to have to be a competitive madden player and i also give you guys a tip on how to complete solo gels solo challenges really really quickly and effectively anyway guys so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like let me know what you thought about it in the comments i'm gonna be signing out i've been enjoying madden 21 a lot i've been really grinding i'm trying to go at least 30 days straight without missing an upload day will we do it i think so i think so anyway guys i'm signing out Peace.